We're going to look at some of the new features in Triage Pro 2018 Release 2. There are now more options available to you when considering uncertainty with the improved Tornado Diagrams. Tornado Diagrams report the relative impacts of parameter uncertainty by combining the results from several one-way sensitivity analysis. Cost-effectiveness Tornado Diagrams now support incremental net monetary benefit tornadoes, incremental cost tornadoes, and also incremental effectiveness tornadoes. If your model has only one outcome or payoff to report, usually cost or effectiveness, you can now generate the incremental expected value tornado diagram too. Tornado diagrams are also supported for microsimulation models as well. More details about tornado diagrams with microsimulation models can be found in the individual level simulation chapter. We have enhanced one-way, two-way and three-way sensitivity analysis to provide more flexibility in the text reports. You can now choose your strategy order and parameter order in the text reports. You can also export all the results for each combination of parameter values to a single row in Excel. Generating images of graphs for models is easy via the Save Image option. Now it's easy to generate images of your decision tree too. The new Print Export Model Wizard walks you through the options to present the tree in the most suitable format for your audience. Just choose the options that you want and then it'll save the model. You can choose to print models and generate image files to incorporate in reports and publications. For DES models, we have created cohort level reports via the time reporting feature. This provides visibility into the patient flows. In the past, it was difficult to validate patient flows in DES models. To create cohort level reports, we create artificial time periods like Markov models have and group the continuous time data from the DES models. This results in DES cohort level reports that look very close to the Markov cohort reports you've used to validate Markov flows. The cohort report provides transparency for the overall disease progression that you can use to validate your DES model. If you want additional information, please look out for our webinars which you can attend to get a more in-depth overview of the features in this demo. This demo has covered the most important features of the release but more information can be found in the help section 1.4 of the help files. Thank you for watching.